Hi, Clay. I was just about to go oh. find you two. I got a terrible, terrible letter and need to go to a certain place. A terrible letter? Yes, from a person that won't acknowledge that Klee and Do the core family. They yep. even said they want to test Klee and have Klee go to Dodo Land, but... But... There's no need to rush. Slow down. Who is this person you're talking about? Who sent this to Klee? A very bad, bad, bad guy. He's called Dodo King. What? Who's Dodo King? Paimon also hasn't heard of him? No. Nope. Wait, why did you say also? Because even Klee has never heard of him. <laughs> Wait. Let me read you the letter that Dodo King wrote. <clears throat> Wicked girl of flame. I am of the Dodo clan. Oh, uh, Klee can't read this part. <laughs> In the name of Dodo King, you are not qualified to become Dodoko's new family. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Unless you bring Dodoko to the Golden Apple Archipelago, light for, uh, except the, um, <laughs> I don't know some of these words. <laughs> That's so cute. This word is Overlord, which means he's the most powerful guy around, and what he says goes. This part reads, light for beacons and knock upon the trialist gate. Hmm. Probably to accept some kind of challenge. Oh, so they're <laughs> they're challenging a child who literally can't read a letter. <laughs> the last word is arbitrate, which uh, which means he wants to judge you. It sounds like he wants you to return Dodoko. How could this be? Dodoko is my bestest friend, so I'll never give Dodoko to him. But. He said he's the strongest of the Dodo clan. Hmm. Could the Dodo clan be Dodoko's family? D is Dodoko an actual, like, alive creature? Or is it just like a stuffed animal? From the names, it seems like it. But Klee, where is this golden apple archipelago? I don't know. What? <laughs> Klee, did this letter come with an envelope? Nope. Yeah, okay. Where was this letter sent from? I don't know. It suddenly appeared on my room's windowsill. Dodo King? Dodo Clan? If Paimon remembers correctly, Dodo Co <laughs> is the toy hanging on Klee's backpack, right? <laughs> Wait. No, Dodo Co is my bestest uh, friend, not some toy. Okay, my bad, my bad. Oh, oh right. What a magical creature Dodo Co is. Uh, but all this sudden talk about family and whatnot is pretty strange it feels like it might be a prank if it's just a prank then we should ignore it no no way i'll never admit defeat i have to go there oh my but we've never even heard of such a place mr honorary knight you know uh what to do right clee believes in you even if we did know what to do uh i'm begging you please please help me how can we say no to this? First of all, she's too adorable to say no to. Second of all, she'd probably blow us up in our sleep. Rather than letting Klee go adventuring off by herself, it'd be better if we accompany her. Yeah. Oh, please, please. All right, I'll help you. You honestly can't say no to Klee's face. <laughs> How do you say no to those big old eyes? As the Flying Dutchman once said. And stop staring at me with them big old eyes. About a place. You'll know it, won't you? Won't you? Oh? <laughs> the little adventurer looks troubled. Have you all encountered some sort of problem? Uh, you could say that. Basically, we want to find a certain archipelago, but it seems no one's ever even heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> if you seek unknown lands or adventuring knowledge, then you've come to the right man. <laughs> uh, will he know about it? What kind of archipelago are you all looking for? It's called the Golden Apple Archipelago. <laughs> Golden Apple Archipelago? Uh, um, <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> You're all amazing. 
You've managed to find a place that even I, the great Cyrus, haven't heard of. Who would have thought that even Cyrus, the branch master of the Adventurers Guild, wouldn't know anything? Could it be that these islands don't exist? Well, he sounded kind of confident. <laughs> <laughs> Come now. <laughs> don't be like that. Klee, is there anyone you can think of that you don't get along with? Would there be anyone who'd write a letter to scare you? Who would who wouldn't dislike Klee? No, I love everyone very much, and everyone loves Klee very much. Hmm. Paimon thinks so too. <laughs> hmm. It's not a prank. Yet no one knows where these islands are. Ugh, this is getting more and more confusing. Is there anybody else more knowledgeable that we could ask? We should ask Lisa about this kind of thing. She's at the library <sighs> every day and has probably read every book in Mondstadt. Right. All right, guess how many times Lisa's going to say the word cutie in her dialogue. Lisa! Oh, well, if it isn't cutie, <laughs> Paimon and Klee, what brings you to the library all of a sudden? Let me get this straight. To determine if Klee is worthy of becoming Dodoko's family, the ruler of the Dodo clan, Dodo King, wrote a letter to Klee summoning her to this Golden Apple Archipelago to be judged. <laughs> That's a mouthful. And you, cutie, sought me out to help Klee find the location of this Golden Apple Archipelago, correct? Yep. You're one of the smartest people in the Mondstadt, too, so... <laughs> How sweet of you to say. Then I have no choice but to assist you in earnest. The letter contains faint elemental traces that seem more like a hint than anything else. Oh. Maybe try using your elemental sight. Did you find anything? Something appeared on the back of the letter. Most of the content on the reverse page was applied via elemental power. What an interesting approach. Hmm. Here's a pen. Cutie, can I trouble you to copy down what you see with your elemental sight? Ooh. A ton of small islands floating by themselves in the water without being anchored to any land. It's almost like they popped up from the seabed. I've read every single book within this library's walls. Similar islands have been mentioned in some of them. A mysterious archipelago enveloped by storms and dense fog belonging to no nation. That which is outside cannot enter, nor can anything inside leave. Only those who are chosen may enter its territory. Lee, do you really want to go to those islands? It might be a very scary place. <laughs> uh, I'm sure she would. Yes, I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> My, how brave. Far be it from me to scare a child. But Klee, you really should take someone with you, just in case. Someone reliable, like my cutie over here. Okay. Klee, you're not scared? I'm scared, but not being able to be Dodoko's family is even scarier. Aww. I'll need to ask for some time off so I can go to the Golden Apple Archipelago and find Dodo King. Time off? That's right. I'm a knight uh. of Favonius. Master Jean told me that if Klee wants to go someplace far, then she has to ask for time off. <laughs> what is this? A child has to ask for a vacation time? Does she have a limited amount of vacation days, too? You're going to ask for time off. Now? We still don't even know where these islands are! Cutie, judging by the look on your face, you have an idea, don't you? Well, I have some impressive friends in Mondstadt. Hey, Jade! Where's the Golden Apple Archipelago? Master Jean, I want to ask for some time off because I want to go somewhere. Clee? Oh, and it's the honorary knight in Paimon as well. It's been a while, everyone. How have you been? I'm good. Barbara's also here? How rare. Did we interrupt a sisterly moment? <clears throat> oh, uh, of course not. Uh, Klee, why are you requesting time off all of a sudden? Klee is going to the Golden Apple Archipelago to meet the Dodo King, or else... Or else he'll take Dodoko away. Dodo King? Take Dodoko away? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't think that Klee is worthy of being part of Dodoko's family. I've never heard of the Golden Apple Archipelago. Where is it? I've also never heard of it. Me either. 
But Miss Lisa said that someone must know. So it's a place that even Lisa doesn't know? Yeah, but I've got a hunch. I see. From what you say, it seems to be quite a mysterious place. <sighs> I sincerely apologize, but I cannot approve Knight Klee's request for time off. What? Huh? But why? I must go! Even if these mysterious islands do exist, we cannot determine if they are safe or not. I cannot allow you to journey into a potentially dangerous place. Moreover, how do you intend to reach the islands? Without a safe oh. and reliable plan drawn up, I'm afraid I cannot give you my approval. Oh, well, yeah, she's got a point there. Psst. Honorary night. <laughs> Is Barbara winking at me? Outside. Okay. Can you think of a way to get to the islands? Uh, Venti might know. <laughs> I would also thought of him just now. On the same wavelength as expected. Uh -huh. How about this? I'll try to persuade Master Jean. You all know she's a serious person, so I think it might take some time. Klee, trust me, okay? I'll do everything I can to help you. Okay, I can wait. <laughs> Wonderful. Tomorrow afternoon, let's all meet at the plaza outside the cathedral. I'm sure I'll have some good news. Oh, just leave it to me. Barbara and Lisa have both spoken to me, and there is something that I have realized. Regardless if I approve it or not, Klee will go where she wants to anyway. This is how it has always been. <laughs> yeah, she'll probably just run off by herself. <laughs> <laughs> Night Klee, your request for leave has been approved. Wow, I am so excited! In exchange... I will be accompanying everyone to this letter's Golden Apple Archipelago. As for the Knight's affairs, I have entrusted them to Kaya. Work has been busy and I shouldn't leave, but I wouldn't be able to stop worrying about Klee. So, please allow me to travel with you. All right! There won't be any problems if Master Jean comes with us! Bixis, uh, uh, I mean, Master Jean also suggested that I come along. Barbados forbid, but I can assist if someone needs medical treatment during our journey. Uh-huh. She'll just sing us back to better health. Miss Barbara, Master Jean, you two are so nice. I promise I'll behave. Yeah, you better. Clee, you always say that. I hope you will abide by your words <laughs> this time. <laughs> Lisa heard that I wanted to accompany everyone to the islands, so she prepared this pouch. Supposedly, opening it will reveal a new way. Oh, really? New way? You mean a way to keep Klee out of trouble? She said not to open it until we've reached the islands. I think it might be something to use in case of an emergency. Uh, as expected of Miss Lisa, she's been thinking of us this whole time. Vete! Vete called the Valen. We're going on a vacation. Ah, uh, yes. That place. <laughs> Congratulations. You found the right person. Wow, wow, wow. You really do. So, now they're called the Golden Apple Archipelago, huh? They used to be known as the Har Islands. Ooh. They're located on a stretch of sea that's particularly difficult for the average person to reach. Not to mention, the area has strong storms and thick fog year-round. Ships can hardly approach the island, let alone dock. Oh. Why do you guys wish to go there? Uh... I'm going there to meet Dodo King. He said he wants to test Klee to see if she's qualified to be Dodo King's family. <laughs> You're just realizing how ridiculous this reason is. Are you nervous? A little, but I will not give in. Master Tone Deaf Bard, you must help us. <laughs> Master Tone Deaf Bard? Uh... <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Paimon, you're a bad influence. Is this Paimon's fault? <laughs> yes. Fear not. Since you wish it so, Master Tone Deaf Bard will lend a helping hand. What a beautiful sound. Huh? Is the wind picking up? Uh-oh. Wait just a moment. He'll be here soon. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> wait, he's actually calling for the ball. Uh, that's... <laughs> This is a secret between us here, so don't tell anyone else. What are the four winds? Oh, my dear poet, you have my utmost gratitude for the aid you have provided us. <laughs> what wonderful expressions you all have. I'll see you off here. May the winds bless your travels.
This is as far as I go. It would be cumbersome for me to proceed further. Please, exercise caution. This is a place even Devon doesn't want to go to. <laughs> my, my heart won't stop pounding, Master Jean. <laughs> Just who is that bard? <clears throat> well, uh, yeah. he's a legendary bard of exceptional musical talent who can use his lyre to call forth all manner of creatures. Yeah, he's a Disney character. Traveler, Paimon, what else does the letter say? Wicked girl of flame, I am of the Dodo clan as its overlord. In the name of Dodo King, you are not become Dodoko's new family. Unless... Unless you bring Dodoko to the Golden Apple Archipelago, light the four beacons, and knock upon the trialist gate to accept your challenge. There's already one lit device here. It appears that we need to find the other three and light them up as well. Huh? What's that? Uh-oh. <laughs> no. It looks like something's down there. Let's take a closer look. Echoing conch? But the general's a good guy! He protects us! I've told you, it's too dangerous! Hey! Where are you running off to? Huh? A boat? Hmm. It looks as if someone has been awaiting our arrival. Are we really supposed to sail in such terrible weather? Well, we'll find out. I'm afraid that appears to be the intention. Everyone... everything about these islands is a mystery. Regardless of what lies ahead, please proceed with utmost caution. I... Pretty scenic here. The weather's so nice. I know we can't afford to drop our guard, but I can't help but enjoy the summer. I want to catch fish. <laughs> Klee, this isn't Mondstadt. Please be careful. <laughs> There's no limits here. This may not sound fair to Klee, but my primary duty is to protect everyone. Finding this overlord is secondary. Also, the sudden appearance of this letter, these islands that are inaccessible by ordinary people, it's too much of a coincidence. Why would this sort of invitation be sent to a child? Yeah. It's truly unbelievable. I also mustn't be careless. Well, what are we all waiting for? Let's start exploring the area. Ah, the weather's so nice. Still feels like Paimon's dreaming. <laughs> oh, good morning! W what's with everyone's clothes? <laughs> it's the summer outfits, look! <laughs> so, how do we look? <laughs> we changed into summer clothes! Although we didn't come here to have fun, we don't want to miss out on a beautiful summer day by the sea! Uh, 
This doesn't look weird, does it? You look great. <sighs> Such light and summery clothing definitely doesn't suit me. <laughs> uh, pardon me. You look marvelous. Really? <sighs> Thank you, Traveler. It's surprising that Master Jean would specially pack summer clothes. Oh, <laughs> no. My big sister would never pack these herself. Lisa and I picked them out for her. Ooh. Learning a big sister and not even realizing it? Barb was drunk on summer already! <laughs> I thought Lisa's pouch was to be used for an emergency. I didn't expect it to contain a set of summer clothing. Oh. <laughs> Everyone, come over here! See? There's something oh. weird floating on the water. Huh. That narrow device. It seems to be a buoy. But we didn't see anything when we arrived here yesterday. King must have put them there. Oh boy. Well, since he hasn't revealed himself to us, does that mean he's changed his mind? Or maybe, maybe these buoys are a clue and he's waiting for me to find him. <laughs> Probably. So could that be why these buoys have suddenly appeared? Let's take a closer look and find out. Uh, uh, summer clothes. They're, uh, they were a surprise that Lisa prepared for me. My guess is that it was originally Barbara's <laughs> suggestion. <laughs> However, I'm not used to this style of clothing. <sighs> I hope wearing this doesn't look too odd. You look good. How do I look? Not bad, right? I wanted to surprise everyone, so I specifically chose an outfit complimenting an island atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Oh, but please don't worry. Even if I'm wearing summer clothes, I'm still just as reliable in battle. <laughs> hmm, I need to bring Jumpy Dumpties, Dodoko, and myself. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> About summer. I like summer, but not just summer. I also like fall. Oh, yes, and I also like spring and winter. <laughs> Even though winter is very cold, I have Jumpy Dumpty. Whenever I feel cold, I blow something up. What? Huh? Is the shaking getting stronger? Uh, All right, back to shore. Uh oh. The sound. Uh oh. Uh. Oh, <laughs> oh. How did we cause an earthquake with this? It grew. <laughs> What's happening? Huh. It's a whole bunch oh. of islands. What's going on here? This part of the ocean is way really too mysterious. <laughs> we made everything grow. <laughs> Before the ground started shaking, I heard the sound of machinery. I believe there may be an immense mechanical structure under this region of the ocean. It's incredible no matter how you think of it. Using a letter to draw us here, and these challenges involving various mechanisms? <sighs> the so-called Dodo King is no amateur. I agree. Aww. There goes the holiday mood. <laughs> Wait, what? He's over there on that island! <laughs> gotcha! You wanted Klee to come find you, so here Klee comes! Jumpy Dumpties, get ready! Let's go! Oh no. Everyone, please be careful. That's a giant mask. Dodo King, I see you! You can, uh, ar 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 uh arbitrate! <laughs> right, you can arbitrate Klee! Uh, what is this kid saying? <laughs> she obviously doesn't understand what that word means. <laughs> hey, Dodo King, why are you ignoring me? Is it because I took too long and made you angry? Then I'm sorry. I'm not sure that's Dodo King, Clee. No response. It must be damaged. Oh, do you recognize it? No, I can only guess. 
It looks completely out of place on this island. Look at its clothes. Huh, it appears like it came from Inazuma. Inazuma? Ooh. Oh no, Toto King isn't moving uh, anymore. She thinks it's dead. No. Klee, maybe Dodo King is tired. Right, right. The Dodo King is probably asleep. He was waiting so <laughs> patiently for you, and then... Ah! <laughs> yeah. Let's go with Klee to play elsewhere, and... Come back once Dodo King wakes up. No, I get it now. This isn't Dodo King. The real Dodo King is somewhere else. Uh-huh. Huh, is that right? I won't give up. Dodo King, just wait. We'll find you. <sighs> She's got a lot of spirit. She's got that kid energy. She can literally go for all day. And then as soon as she hits the bed... Look at these stacked up stones and small flowers. It feels like a memorial for someone. Could the memorial be for the machine? Uh, perhaps it once performed some deed that merited a memorial. I think so. Hmm. Everything we've seen here indicates that there was once a human presence in these waters. Still, there isn't enough for us to infer what kind of civilization it was. <sighs> and up to now, we still have yet to see any people or gravestones. Yeah. Master Jean, can I go over there and have a look? Yes, but be careful. Okay. Clee is too young to have a proper sense of danger. Traveler, the rest of us must stay alert to the situation. Miss Barbara? Do you think that Dodo King doesn't want to see Clee? Oh. Why would the Dodo King not want to see you, Clee? Dodoko loves me, and, and I love Dodoko, so Dodo King can never separate us. That's why Dodo King doesn't want to see us. <laughs> Klee doesn't want him to separate us. Mm. <laughs> hey, Klee. Do you know what this is? <gasps> it's a heart pastel. I heard my big si uh, Master Jean say that Klee always wanted to play heart pastel, right? <laughs> yeah, Klee was just thinking about Ludi heart pastel. I made this heart pastel especially for you. Now, every day can be Ludi heart pastel. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Aw, that's cute. So keep your chin up, Klee. After we meet Dodo King, we can all help you convince him to let you and Dodo Ko stay together. This is so sweet. Okay. Honorary night. Honorary night. No, she changed back into her clothes. Good morning, traveler. Oh, everybody did. Well, this is a complex and evolving situation, so we should be ready for any eventuality. For security reasons, we changed back into more combat-ready attire. Ah, uh, that makes sense. We didn't want to wake you, but I noticed some white smoke coming from one of the other islands. Oh. I think it'd be best if we went and investigated it together. Is that a campfire? Bro, these two. <gasps> oh, <laughs> why are the brothers here? Uh <laughs> Hmm? Hmm? Oh my goodness. What the heck are they doing here? <laughs> it's Kaya and the weird grown-up. <laughs> so it was Dodo King that invited you to these islands. What a coincidence. What do you mean? I'll get to that. But first, I want to enjoy some more of this island sunshine. Master D. Luke might actually get a tan. <laughs> he said, you pale. But as you know, a boat wouldn't have made it over. We had no choice but to use the same method of transport uh, you did. Oh, uh, they rode on Duvalin? You mean Duvalin carried you here too? You seem surprised. Dragon flights are a fairly conspicuous affair. Eye-catching, one could say. Wait, so everyone found out that I... It would seem that people noticed a dragon, <laughs> but not necessarily the cargo. Still, word spread quickly that a dragon was in town. Uh-oh. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Who knew that everyone's favorite bard had the power to summon dragons? I... I assume you two traveled here together? <laughs> you assume? The acting grandmaster's jokes have improved of late. Do we seem like fitting <laughs> travel companions to you? <laughs> there were actually two others that arrived with us on the island. They wandered off for various reasons. Various reasons? Let's just say that big egos aren't conducive to team cohesion. You mean they abandoned you? 
<laughs> an incisive observation. So, who were the two others? Albedo and Razor. <laughs> of course. Wait, Kaya, if you're here, who is overseeing the Knights of Favonius? The mighty librarian Lisa, of course. Not to worry. In some ways, she's stricter than either of us. Any evildoers in Mondstadt need to watch out for the next several days. But what about the paperwork? Thankfully, Lisa's there. We arrived by dragon, but as soon as we entered the island's vicinity, something caught Razor's eye. He jumped straight off of the dragon's back and vanished into the ocean. We worried that he'd be in danger, so we also leapt off the dragon and glided onto this island. But as you can see, this is but a deserted land. Based on previous experience, I decided that it would be best to wait for contact. While D. Luke believed that Razor wouldn't return to find us. During our little dispute, Albedo quietly disappeared <laughs> on us. <laughs> yeah, uh, must have found something he's more interested in. Albedo is an alchemist and skilled at his craft. If I could use those beautiful artificial flowers of his, it would be a simple affair to traverse these islands. What do you mean? You have your ice powers. <laughs> he says this like we haven't been using him to bridge across the seas this entire time. For some reason, I remember that our initial landing zone was the island over there with the higher mountains. Only at your insistence did we change course and land here. Oh my, but your footsteps melted the water that I took uh -oh. such effort to freeze. <laughs> Who made Cryo and Pyro so incompatible? Pyron uh, still can't tell if you guys are really close or hate each other's guts. Albedo, why did you come here? I received a letter. On the way over, the four of us shared what we knew. A mysterious letter appeared outside each of our doors. Ooh, the Dodo King is inviting literally everybody. They were all signed Dodo King. Yeah. Anyone else find it hard not to crack a smile when Master D. Luke says, Dodo King. <laughs> you right. My letter was very simple. I have Klee. If you wish to see her, come to the Golden Apple Archipelago. Aww. My letter was similarly straightforward. Among the deserted islands, you will find a sunken pirate ship. Huh. Within lies great treasure and long-lost antique vases of incredible rarity. It would appear that someone came to learn of the circumstances surrounding the eye patch that my grandfather left me. Oh. Classic Kaya. Does anyone have a clue what he's talking about? No. Anyway, so what's your story, D. Luke? There is an abyss order stronghold among the <laughs> deserted islands. Make haste. So the Dodo King knows everything about these people and knows exactly what to say to blackmail them. Didn't Razor get a letter too? He did. Though he couldn't read it. <laughs> a certain kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman that he uh. encountered on the way over was able to relay the contents to him. Aww. The Red Bernie girl has gone to the islands. She needs help. Look! Over there! Razor! Everyone, I am here. Razor, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need healing? No need. Okay. No. I... Smelled something. This. Give to you. Clear smell. Same as letter. Razor did mention that his letter had a peculiar smell. This thing? Put inside metal person. Same. Here. You want me to do it? Yes. I don't understand how. Traveler is clever. Razor trusts. Aw, okay. Well. Wait. Did... Did it move? Hey, uh, what's going on, buddy? Uh, he's not very friendly. So it seems like he can block my geo attacks. Oh. Ah! Sometimes. His face acts as a shield. It's not that hard of a fight, but then again, usually after the story quest is when the bosses end up being hard. And he's dead. Oh, finally! <laughs> that dude dropped Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> How could such a massive piece of offensive weaponry have found its way here? It seems the answer to that question disappeared with the people that used to inhabit this archipelago. Mm. These deserted islands bear signs of human activity. I would go so far as to infer that this archipelago once held a human population. 
They were most likely visitors from elsewhere, uh -huh. not indigenous to the islands. Yeah. They may have spent a long time here before finding a way to return home. As for the crystals... Hmm... They've been manufactured from a particularly rare type of ore. Transparent. Transparent? We found a pile of stones and small flowers nearby. Do you think there's any connection? That sounds like someone wanted to commemorate the machine. Perhaps someone who was truly grateful. Only people that had benefited directly from the machine would leave a memorial like this. What is this camera angle? Look! Another letter! It must be Dodo King! What is this camera angle? Again? What? Mysterious Dodo King, mysterious Dodo King. He sleeps alone on the southwesterly aisle. The bad child made him wait too long. The days grow dark, the stars are rising. Aww. Greedy spirit, greedy spirit. You made the moon run a ring. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish. The secret lies here. Do you dare to proceed? All right, so I'm guessing the keys of three colors are the crystals. More cryptic riddles? What could it mean? And does it have anything to do with those crystals? And also, Southwesterly Isle? Now, which island would that be? I'd say it's about time we went and investigated instead of standing here making wild guesses. <laughs> We've looked all over these islands, but there's nothing interesting here. There is two? The island uh, over there is really weird. Ether, can you get out the way? Clee, did you go off by yourself without authorization again? Uh-oh, she snitched on herself. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to go for a walk. Aww. Clee, next time you want to go anywhere, please tell me first, okay? We'll go together. How does that sound? I thought Master Jean is always busy with other things. You really mean it? I mean, there's nothing to do here. Of course. Yay! Okay! <sighs> Where does she get the energy? <laughs> if Paimon didn't know better, Paimon would think that Jean was Clee's mother. Huh. Huh? Is this a shield? Hmm. Doesn't look very solid, though. I'm gonna pop it. Big shield, big shield. <laughs> Queen knows you're in there. <laughs> She's definitely gonna try and touch it. An energy shield needs an energy source. If we can find the connected devices to the source, we should be able to destroy it. Let's all look for any potential devices in the vicinity. Ready, steady, da da da. <laughs> Clee, walk. Don't run. <laughs> This does look like it could have something to do with the shield. Three devices in total. And look, the light converges in one place. Albedo, are we able to deactivate the shield from here? These light-emitting devices each have a small frame in front of them. Looking at the shape here, it seems like something is supposed to be fixed in place. An oblong circle. Fan-shaped, I suppose. Hmm, what could it be? We're by the ocean. This shape is a seashell, perhaps? But all the shells we've seen were either bigger or smaller than this shape. If it's not a shell, then it's got to be... Huh, a fish scale. A fish scale? Or whatever it is, we'd be placing it into the frames in front of the light-emitting device. Which means... It would have to be transparent? Right! Would you look at that? The light being emitted is white, but the installations themselves each have their own color. Red, blue, and yellow. It looks like these three crystals might be the answer to this whole riddle. Give precious things to the greedy spirit in the sea. Huh, is that what we have to do? If my understanding is correct... Huh. Honorary Knight, I suggest that you place the crystals in the sea. <laughs> I... I believe that this greedy spirit is most likely an ocean-dwelling fish. If the crystals do attract it to us, then we're a step closer to obtaining our fish scales. So that's the plan! Why don't we just yeet the crystals at it? That should do it, right? But where are the fish? They died. Greedy spirit, greedy spirit. You made the moon run a ring. The days grow dark, the stars are rising. So... Maybe this type of fish only comes out after dark? Or to put it another way, we're gonna be here all night. <laughs> Get used to it, D-Luke. Catch fish. Eat. Mm. Yeah, yeah! Let's go fish blast! 
Uh oh. Hey. Hold on, Clee. Just let her have this moment, please. Will Master Jean come too? Jean said if Clee wants to go anywhere, she must tell Jean, and then we can go together, right? Uh, yes, I did say that. Come on, Jean. <sighs> All right then. Time to go fish blasting with Clee. Yeah. This is a deserted island, so explosions shouldn't trouble anyone. It's just a bit of relaxation, right? Yeah. Find some fish. Find some fish. Let's go. There, mini fish. Clee's gonna get there first. Is it time for a break already? Fantastic. I was just thinking about taking a stroll. <laughs> Meaning you're off on another pirate treasure hunt? <laughs> Who knows? These are big islands. There are bound to be more than a few secrets hidden away. Most likely. <laughs> <laughs> Master D. Luke, aren't you interested in pirate treasure? No, I just want to get out off of this island and go home. Hardly. I'm more interested in peace and quiet. Uh -huh. Amuse yourselves however you see fit. I'm taking my leave. Uh -huh. At least Albedo's able to sit and enjoy the... Huh? Uh. Albedo! Albedo said that he wanted to spend some time alone painting. Jeez, what's up with everyone? Seems like we're all overdue for a vacation. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure everyone here works like 24-7, so... Traveler, make sure you take a little time to enjoy yourself, too. Thank you, Jean. No matter what is waiting for us down the line, I will protect everyone, especially Klee. This is my duty as the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. That's Jean for you. Always reliable. You're a very hardworking person. I hope you can get some proper rest here. Traveler, thank you. It is nice of you to say so. Anyway, I hope we can all find moments of peace and happiness on this beach. Tell me about Dodo King. That big meanie must be a bad guy. Mr. Honorary Knight must be careful. <laughs> Even though I haven't seen him yet, I will definitely protect Dodoko. I won't let Dodoko be taken away. Even if he's Dodoko's... Dodoko's... Uh... Grandpa? Brother? Or whatever. <laughs> you know, I think I've come to realize that I'm lacking a certain... Fun side. Oh, really? Traveler, I want to ask you something. Sure. Do you think that I'm... Too serious? <laughs> uh... Uh, how do I answer this? I guess that's why everyone wants me to get more rest and relaxation. Apologies. No, that's what makes Jean so sweet, though. Huh? I, I never thought that anyone would consider my personality as sweet. Thank you for your constant kind words and comfort, Traveler. Oh, you've arrived at a most opportune time, Honorary Knight. Clee just invited me to catch lizards with her. <laughs> Care to join? Why'd you come to the island? Let me guess. You're thinking something along the lines of Kaya seized an opportunity to shirk his duties. Uh, no, but now as you say it, yeah, now I think so too. You see, not only is the acting Grand Master here, but the former fiery cavalry captain as well. Uh huh. Naturally, Wait. I had to see it for myself. Also, it seems like I ought to appreciate the splendid scenery and enjoy every second of summer. Hmm, I just thought of something. Wouldn't it be great if we could age in reverse? Hmm. To be a child again and free yourself from the strife of the adult world. Well, and that depends if your brain stays the same and you keep all your memories at the same time. To be like Klee, unrestrained and free to do whatever you want. Why was he so angry? <laughs> do you not also yearn for such a thing? I guess, well, about what happened today. What's the matter? D. Luke's scowl still bothering you? <laughs> He's had that expression on his face for years now. He internalizes a lot of his feelings. So I'm afraid his face is stuck like that. Just treat him like a big kid. Aww. In my opinion, it would be a good thing if people could stay young forever. Hmm? What is that, you ask? <laughs> would I do such a thing? I wasn't jibing him. The scenery here is not bad. Walking on the shore at night almost makes you feel like you're on a vacation. Uh -huh. Could this be a ploy to lower our guard? <laughs> <laughs> Me? My affairs are hardly worth discussion. Rather, I'm more concerned about your situation. Mine? Wait, what? How is it? Getting used to island life? It's not bad. If you need help, come find me anytime. And if you find any clues, contact me at once. Okay. 
Speaking of which, Klee just asked me to help her catch fish. <laughs> <sighs> Come with me, if you want to. <laughs> He's too manly to do all that kitty stuff with Klee. And as for Kaya, <laughs> he seems to be in high spirits. Even after all these years, he still enjoys summer as much as he did as a kid. Aww. Scent is very strong. In the sky, can smell. So, I came down. This place is salty. There are also leaves, grass, fruit. Aww. Your scent smells nice. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Oh, me? Well, I... I... Well, actually, I... <sighs> you want to know the truth? Sure. I only came to the islands out of concern for everyone's safety. Although, I admit that I didn't want to miss out on traveling together with all of you either. You don't have to be embarrassed to say that. I... Well, I hope you won't laugh at me. Oh. Well, after all, a deaconess shouldn't concern herself with matters of fun and games. Uh, I wouldn't dare. <sighs> Then I'm glad. Today's events didn't feel that out of the ordinary. Hmm? Sorry, do you mean when I left by myself? Uh, that was a personal choice. Don't stress over it. Sometimes I like to be alone. Communicating with others can be a taxing affair. But if I were to choose someone to talk to, I would pick you. You're intelligent. And I like to talk to intelligent people. How are the fish? As we suspected, they were drawn to the crystal. <laughs> fish be like, ooh, shiny. Catchy, catchy fish! Uh, no, no! Uh, to keep Klee from blowing up the fish to pieces, perhaps it'd be better to let us catch the fish? <laughs> After all, we're experts at collecting all manner of wildlife. Yeah, I've got a ton of fish in my inventory. Totally not from buying them or anything. That's what. Got him. Mr. Honorary Knight, are you gonna place the fish scale? Yup. Too bad I can't reach that high. <laughs> then I'll help you out. But actually, I don't really understand this part. Oh, it's okay. Neither do I. Don't worry. I'm gonna finally see you, though, the King. <laughs> Time to see what you really look like. Watch it literally just be nothing. I must say, Klee is incredibly excited. You can do it, Mr. Honorary Knight. I'm cheering for you. Woohoo! Clay is the most adorable character in this game, by the way. No competition. Yellow. We finished placing the scales. Yay! Amazing! <laughs> it's my turn now, right? Yep. Yep. We'll leave that mechanism over there to you, Clee. Okay. Uh, Clee, what's wrong? I, I'm worried. What if Dodo King really is in here? And what if he doesn't allow me to become Dodoko's family? Or if I lose to him? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Then Dodoko can't be with me and Mom will be very sad too. Dodoko is my bestest friend that Mom ever gave me. Oh. I... I'm too scared to press it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you press the button for me? Klee, I can't help you press it. Why? Because I have to hold my weapon. This way, I can protect you. Yes, we're all here for you. Don't worry, Klee. We've all got your back. No matter who the enemy is, as long as we're here, you don't have to be afraid. Perfect. I also want to see how strong the enemies on this island really are. <laughs> Go. I'm here. Yes. Guys, don't say things like that. What if Dodo King just wants to invite Klee to his house to chat? Or, yes, maybe he already approves of Klee. <laughs> of course, Barbara's the pacifist here. Will he really approve of me? Why wouldn't he? You've always tried your best and have done a good job. Really? He will approve you, I know it. All right, leave this to me. Press, press, press the button. What? It's a bunch of dodokos. 
Hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> huh. This is wait, I must be confused. What is this? It, it just looks like a beach resort. This entire island is like a massive gift box hidden beneath the energy shield. There seems to be something over there. Shall we take a look? Yes, I want to look. Wicked girl of flame, you have finally arrived. I've waited far too long. How very boring. Whose voice is that? You dare face me, the overlord of the Dodo clan, Dodo King. Such glorious courage. Though such courage is admirable, but it is now meaningless because... Because Dodo King is me! What? <laughs> Your mother, Alice. <laughs> okay, so it was Alice this whole time. All right. Only she would do something like this. Huh? Mom? Wait, Alice? The person who wrote the Tibet travel guide? Klee and her fellow islanders. Hey there. So, how did you like it here? Was it fun? Summer uh, skies and the ocean surf. Mm, quite the vacation, no? Yeah, I I'll agree. There's no use looking for me. I'm not actually near you. The speaking device on the platform before you is none other than my personal creation. The Alice phonograph. Huh. I'm using it to convey a mother's love. So she created a phonograph. <laughs> you can't be serious. <laughs> hey, I didn't scare you all off, did I? Sorry, my Glee loves playing with all sorts of small toys. As her mother, Aww. I naturally want to support her. It's a bunch of dodokos. It's cute. These toys aren't small at all. <laughs> what do you mean? Please, M mother? It's a pity that I can't meet you, but I'll be watching your every move from afar, uh, just as always. Uh, that's a bit creepy. That's probably how she was able to blackmail all of us. <laughs> You might find all of this a bit odd. Why would a mother so far from home expend so much effort to create such an aquatic wonderland? Ding, ding, ding. That's correct. I've personally been to those islands. I absolutely adore the ancient ruins and unique oh. landscape. I prepared everything so you all could take part and enjoy the islands as well. Thanks, but you could have at least, you could have just invited us regularly. Please, mother also seems to have quite the free spirit. <laughs> Are any of you saying bad things about me now? Uh, <laughs> uh don't tell her. Uh, no! Is she listening to us? <laughs> no need to be so troubled. Klee's mother, Alice, is an extremely enigmatic and near-omnipotent sorceress. Don't be overly concerned. This is just her character. You must have been curious about what was behind those letters. The boats, the buoys, the energy shield. Yeah. Mm. Actually, I thought it was a lot of effort, but this was the only way to invite everyone here. Am I right? Are we sure? Actually, she might be right. The islands are just full of stories. The original inhabitants, shipwrecks, mystical machinery, countless coincidences converge here. It would have been such a waste if I didn't make these arrangements. Now, let me guess. Everyone who received a letter should be present. Kaya, Diluc, Razor, Jean, Barbara, and then there's the reliable and intelligent Albedo, and uh. the mysterious traveler and his good companion, Paimon. Uh. You were all invited by me to accompany Klee. Thank you all for allowing my daughter to have a memorable summer. Everything on the islands is a gift for you all. Uh. And thanks for keeping my little Klee company. But when you hear this recording, I'll already be traveling in other faraway lands. Damn. So we don't get to see Alice yet. Not yet. It'll be another six months or maybe even more. Now, everyone, if you're trying to find some hidden meaning in all this, I must tell you that the situation isn't as complicated as you may think. Oh, really? The reason why I like the city of Mondstadt is that its freedom is exactly what my daughter and I could ever hope for. Aww. My wish is simple. I want Klee to grow up with a curious yet kind heart. As long as she so desires, she can do anything and go anywhere. Well, uh, I think the only limit on that is not blowing up the fish in the lakes. So that's it. 
Well, I must admit that it certainly fits Alice's style. It must be nice to have a mom who's such a character. Yep, mom is the bestest mom. Mom, we caught fish, sailed a boat, went swimming, and played a lot of things. Everyone's been super duper amazing and very kind to me. Aww. Yeah, this will be a good memory for her. Next time, you can come with us and we can all play here again. It appears that mother and daughter are kindred spirits, both wild and free. Ah, oh, summer. Speaking of summer, when I went to those islands, it also happened to be summer. Sitting on the beach, listening to the waves roll against my feet, I thought of you. Aww. Klee, you are a child of summer. Aww, a present to me from the sea and the wind. Mom is thankful for your birth and wanted to give you something. This is so cute. So, Mom dressed up these islands, transformed the ancient ruins into a summer park, and used the moniker of Dodo King to invite you. In another world, there are tales of a wondrous island named after golden apples. Known by many names, it embodies the majestic vistas conjured by human fantasy. Mom loves that story and wanted you to enjoy the wonderful things in it. So Mom gave you sapphire waters, pearly sands, a fantastical paradise for you and for those who love you. So there were only three crystals. Light red like flower petals, Light blue like ocean waves, light yellow like autumn leaves. Perhaps from Alice's perspective, this archipelago is the natural fourth crystal. Located in the middle of the sea and covered by plant life, it truly is a lustrous and emerald summer crystal. Yeah. Klee, just like Mom, you are of a race blessed with longevity. For us, Time is like a gust of wind. Moments come and end. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Isn't Klee like an elf? <laughs> Based on her ears, I would guess that she's an elf. So Alice must be an elf too. In such a long life, parents are but a child's first connection. Even though we don't want to be separated, there will come the day when you must walk your own path. Klee, mom will always love you. But there are also others by your side. Friends who accompany you, teachers who educate you, people who are willing to stay on an island for you despite knowing how unusual it is. Ah, oh, summer is for everyone. No matter how life changes, no matter how many things happen this year, summer will never disappear. Just like the love between people. True, true. She's speaking facts. From now on, regardless of wherever you go, I hope you never forget how many people in this world love you. This is very sweet. Oh, yes. Be sure to listen to Mr. Albedo at home. <coughs> Mom will regularly return to see you two. Wait, what? Actually, whenever I have a moment to spare, I sneak back to check on you and everyone else. What? <laughs> Has no one noticed? What? <laughs> Aunt Alice, the same as ever. You don't think Albedo knew from the start, do you? <laughs> he probably did, honestly. Oh, time's almost up, so I'll stop here. Right, right. I spent a lot of effort on this place, so you all must play your hearts out. Everyone, my darling Klee. See you next time. Bye, Alice. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Klee seems happy. Dodo King was actually Mom. I don't know why, but I am very <laughs> happy. <laughs> Where'd the voice line go? Will you feel lonely without your mother? Nope. Mom is the most strongest mage, so she can keep me company no matter where she is. She never lets me feel lonely. I love Mom this much. Aww. Mr. Honorary Knight, do you love Klee? <laughs> I like how there's no option to say no. <laughs> Everybody should love Klee. Nobody is allowed to dislike Klee, okay? You have to play with me lots here or else mom will be disappointed. Uh, uh, yeah. I still have a lot of jumpy dumpties and I brought Donoko here too. I'll take you swimming and fish blasting. Yay. <sighs> it's always fun when we're with you, Klee. Hey, come on. Let's not keep Klee waiting. Come on, let's go. So this was Alice's handiwork all along. The letter I received certainly makes a lot more sense now. Yeah. She's quite a remarkable person. You must meet her if you get the opportunity. I'll try if I'm not in a whole nother country. 
Even if she does bring her fair share of trouble with her. Uh. Then again, I don't mind trouble when it's interesting. Huh? Did I ever guess what was going on, you ask? <laughs> Not a chance. I'm much too naive. I was in the dark the whole time. Yeah. I had no idea that any of this could have been Alice's creation. Now that I know the truth, there is a certain sweetness to the scenery all around us. Mm -hmm. Such a beautiful summer. What could be a better gift? Honestly, I don't know. Oh, speaking of which, I still have a promise to keep to Klee. <laughs> Those fish won't blast themselves. Traveler, would you like to take part in a bit of innocent recreation? Hell yeah. Mommy is the bestest person in the whole wide world. Albedo knows. She knows everyone. I'm sure she knows Mr. Honorary Knight. Yeah, somehow she does, even though she's never actually seen me before. Because mom can do anything. When she comes back, we have to go and find her. She's a really good person. Mr. Honorary Knight will definitely like her. Please don't look at me like that. If we'd solved the riddle at the beginning, then the game wouldn't have been much fun now, would Man. it? Man, I mean, you're right, but... This archipelago suits you. And Klee. Oh. Don't you think so? Summer, islands, ocean. Even if it is essentially just an ocean playground. It's perfect for those on the move. Yeah, you're right. You could spend a wonderful summer here. Mm-hmm. So it was her all along. I might have known. <laughs> of course you did. Uh-huh, I'm sure. Alice is the only one in all of Mondstadt that could have pulled this off. Well, her and that bard. Those letters were actually invitations. I guess that makes us the guests to the party. Uh-huh. Very interesting invitations, though. <laughs> Which means that in her heart, we're all a bunch of children. Eh. I haven't been taken for a child in a long time. I mean, that baby face ain't helping you, buddy. I not understand, but feels warm. Aww. Like, like blanket. Soft. Warm. Aww. This is mother feeling? Oh, he also doesn't have a mom. That's actually sad. I forgot about that. Mother is also Lupicol. Oh. Very good. Aww. <sighs> It's amazing. This whole island is actually a gift. Honorary night, I I can't help but feel a little emotional. <laughs> of course it wasn't my gift, but I just feel so moved by it all. I mean, it's a beautiful gift. When people spend a long time together, they become more important to each other. A good reminder. In fact, Many things have become clearer to me now. So this is what? Huh. This is an extremely cute adventure. I really like this. From the music to being able to explore unknown lands again, this place is just absolutely amazing. It honestly makes me excited for what's in store with Inazuma. And I really do hope it's just as good, if not better, than this. We'll see. We will see.